Hey members, so uh, I wanted to make a video on how to properly run a match coverage in Madden and, and explaining cover 2 match in particular. So this video is going to be about cover 2 match. I will go further in depth with like cover 4 and uh, stuff like that. So um, here it is. So first things first, I want to point out that um, match coverage is actually good now. Uh, with this new patch, it is pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there before we start. So I actually like to run a uh, base with uh, match on for this uh, formation, and I've been running a lot of dime recently. Dime's been working pretty well for me. It's dime Tampa 2. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you have four down linemen, four man pass rush, one linebacker, all the rest of these guys are DBs, okay? So when we get to the field here, we go to dime Tampa 2, and then we go to, let's say, uh, trips. Um, we'll do uh, verticals, why not? Because the seam shots are what people struggle with most in zone. So this is uh, like basically um, a dumbed down version of something that's pretty complicated to... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Got to... Sorry. Oh, that was... Sorry, my fault. Um, okay. There... I'm going to explain the dumbed down version of this basically right away. So first things first, um, it's important to note that uh, there is a way or there is an occurrence of why people think match is bad, and there's two reasons. One is that the people that are saying match is bad are the people that start shading down, shading up, or whatever with their coverages, but little do they know, that actually negates the match from the entire play in general. So what happens is they'll shade down if they're trying to play hard flats, right? So I shade down, and look, what happens is it cancels out all of the match in the play, and then it just turns into a normal Tampa 2 with just two hard flats on the field, right? That's not good because that's going to get burned by every single coverage every single time. Or, sorry, every single play every single time. Now, uh, the second reason is because they keep the uh, mid-read here um, on the mid-read. If you guys do not know, uh, on the field of match coverage, when there is a mid-read on the field it will turn these vert hooks right here, only these vert hooks, into normal drop zones, and they will not play match. That is why you will see people saying that match is bad, or you'll see that in a vertical situation, when mid-read is on the field, they will not play match properly. They'll, they'll probably hover towards the zone where the, you know, the seam shot's going into the area, and then they'll dip off of them because they go back into their zone where they're supposed to actually protect. Now, how do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of this feature? Well, it's pretty simple. Just get rid of the mid-read. So what I like to do is I like to just put an inside third on him, and that's it. And then whatever side they have the trip side to, I put a soft squat, and here's why. So if they're running a corner route or something a little bit more deep, this soft squat will match it and run with it, all right? Now, if it is a cloud flat, it will kind of kind of be with them, kind of not, and it will like play with them for a little bit and then eventually dip it off and peel it off to the deep half. But if the deep half is dealing with three receivers going down vertical, it can't cover all of them. So that's why you want to have a soft squat on that side of the trips formation or a bunch, if for example. So let's run this play and you'll see what I mean. So these vertical hooks, you'll see instead of just dipping off, they actually run with them. Now we're going to run that same play, except I'm going to keep the mid-read, and you'll see them not run with them this time. So I'm just going to do this as normal. I'll, I'll even put the soft squat still on that side, but I won't change the mid-read on my user. And what will happen is they won't follow them. You see that? So that is why people with match coverage struggle a lot with uh, putting uh, or like struggling with seam shots up their match coverage is because they actually didn't know that a mid-read makes those verts hook and only the vert hooks not match coverage now this is a very important tip because a lot of people when they're putting their user in a zone or just like kind of random and just using them sometimes they'll just unironically or just unknowingly put themselves into a mid read which instantly puts all of the vert hooks into just regular old drop zones and not the match that we want to see so if we run this like this Verticals is a number one stop to all zone plays and look at this It is a lockdown coverage to the point where the the quarterback is pe back pedaling and he has to throw it and dump it off to the running back Now um, what we can do here. I didn't mean to do that Now what we can do here again is we can 
uh, go to a bunch and, and show you the same exact thing with this um, formation here. So if we go to Dime Tampa 2, like I said, and we go to bunch and we run, uh, let's do bunch trail, corner route on this. And we do uh, the same thing, which was put the inside there to get rid of the mid read. And we put a soft squat on that right side because the bunch is on that side and you want that soft squat to play the corner route. This is what will happen. We Do this. Let the AI snap the ball. And you'll notice that pretty much everything is locked up. Now, you will have to negate and, and play around with this. Uh, you could press. That might help. Um, you could do something where you leave the cloud flat or you can put him into a... A hard flat I would still suggest soft squat just to take care of that corner route because um, that corner route will get open uh, if the deep half does not match to it and you'll notice that this time really good coverage there the quarterback had to throw it away so pressing will help against a bunch with those short routes okay so I would again suggest just pressing to fix this um, against the bunch and then do uh, the inside third, of course. And I like to contain just to get some extra pressure in there. But the beauty about this entire this entire um, uh, kind of scheme here is that you're getting four man pressure in with two two outside linebackers. Or I guess it depends on what your team is looking like. But for me, I have three good rushers on this play. I still need to pick up one more DN. But uh, besides the point. So again, we'll do this one more time. And. Uh, Play it out like this. And notice that they just have to do a quick throw because they can't handle that. Now, again, we're going against an AI here, so they auto-read the field and see, like, oh, okay, I'm just going to pass it to this person. A real person that you're playing against won't be able to do that instantly. Now, um, a way that you could try to, to stop this would be, uh, this would be my suggestion. So press, do the same thing. Um, wrong thing. You man up this triangle. Or sorry, this uh, Y receiver or uh, cornerback. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. And you do it on not Pickens. You do it on Mo Mostert, right? And then you can man up this other vert hook onto let's say Mayer. Now, if we do this, our responsibility is to cover this middle of the field, which will only be this other guy because it's a it's a bunch trail, right? So this deep half, if we were to um, you know do something like this. And we move him up and then do something like this do this and leave it as is the deep half will play better in the sense of he'll get to he'll be able to get to those corner routes um i wouldn't move him as far up as i did but uh you'll you'll see the the soft squat play it you'll see the deep half play it oh wrong guy you'll see um uh, maybe you want to shuffle this guy in a little bit more do something like this so i'd Back this guy up a little bit but from here you just move up the safety a few steps on that bunch side and for you know for the most part you should have lockdown coverage here um again this is just a coverage shell so you could expand upon this idea uh with everything now i actually don't really like how cover twos play in basically any other formation besides nickel three three and dime normal every other cover two i see uh doesn't really play how i want it to um big uh, b nog is okay uh, but yeah, I like to just stick with that, and um, I thought that was just a really cool idea that I wanted to share with you guys on the membership page. Uh, it's, it's, I found that out recently, and it's been definitely helping my 4-6 playbook uh, ebook uh, immensely, because so, I already have my Nickel 3-3 mini scheme, I already have my B-Knock stuff, my dollar stuff, and now I have Dime Normal. What you want as a defensive player is a ton of different options to shut down everything that you could think of in terms of typical formations that people go to so um hopefully this helped you guys out if it did uh you know spread the word about this uh membership i try to release the best content for you guys again i'm going to be posting on the membership page at least two to three times per week at least so you might get more but um yeah so anyway i hope you guys had a uh you know uh, i hope this helped you guys and uh yeah so anyways i'll see you guys all in the next one goodbye